Good morning children. Today in social science and history in class 9, we continue the lesson Nazism and the rise of Hitler. Now we'll understand the ideas behind Hitler's racism. Hitler's racism was borrowed from the ideas of Charles Darwin and Herbert Spencer. Now Charles Darwin had uh, explained the creation of plants and animals uh, through the concept of evolution and natural selection. And to this idea, Herbert Spencer had added the idea of survival of the fittest. And according to this idea, only those species survived on earth that could adapt themselves to changing climatic conditions. And the racist thinkers and politicians used these ideas to justify the imperial rule over conquered people. So we see that the Nazi argument was simple. That is, the strongest race would survive and the weak ones would perish. And these, uh, the, the strongest one were the uh, pure German who only had the right to live. So this, the, the belief that the Aryan race was the finest and the best and the strongest is what they had. The other aspect of Hitler's ideology is related to the concept of Lebensraum or living space. That is, he believed that new territories had to be acquired. He was not happy with the own territory. He wanted to acquire more territories for settlement and extend German boundaries. Right? And how he intended to uh, extend? By moving eastwards, that is Poland. And Poland became the laboratory for this experiment. So that is uh, the reason why he began to expand and extend the German boundaries. And the reason what he gave was that uh, it would enhance and increase the material resources of Germany and power of the German nation. That is what he wanted. That was his aim and ambition to uh, make Germany the most powerful country. So this is how he intended to achieve this. Now we see the establishment of the racial state. Once the Nazis had come into power, had taken complete control over the judiciary, over the media, of the army and everything. So, they began to implement the dream of creating an exclusive racial community of pure Germans by physically eliminating all those who were considered undesirables. Desirables were the ones only the pure German race, the Aryans, and the others, uh, like groups of people, uh, like uh, people who, uh, the Jews, the gypsies, blacks and the people, they were all considered and classified as undesirables. That is that they had no right to live. So this is how they began to implement their plans. Nazis wanted only a society of pure and healthy Nordic Aryans. And they were considered as desirables, whereas the other people were undesirables. In fact, uh, among the Germans also, those who were seen as impure or abnormal, that is, uh, either they were mentally uh, unsound or physically unfit, even they had no right to live. So it was not against, not the belief that the Jews or the gypsies and all, they were undesirables, but even among their own people, physically, if they were weak or unfit or mentally unsound, then they also had no right to live. So we see that these uh, Jews, gypsies and blacks and the others were classified as undesirables and racial inferiors. So when Germany occupied Poland, and parts of Russia, they had captured civilians and they worked as slave laborers and they were tortured and subjected to all kinds of cruelty. They were ill-treated and almost starved. So we see that how uh, they began to extend their control over other places also. Now we see the racial state was established. In Nazi Germany, 
like we talked to earlier that the jews were the worst sufferers they suffered the maximum and uh, they were stereotyped as killers of christ why was there so much of hatred uh, Uh, against the jews was that they believed that they were the killers of christ so that is the reason why the germans had this hatred the strong feeling of hatred against the jews the jews were a group of people who uh, their source of livelihood was trade or they were money lenders and they used to lend money at a high rate of interest so that was the source of livelihood so uh, the germans had developed a strong hatred and ill feeling towards these jews and they uh, were living in separate marked areas they were not living with the rest of the german people that they lived in areas which were marked allocated for this only and they these areas they were called as ghettos now we see that hitler's hatred of jews could be satisfied through total elimination that means elimination of whom the undesirables so from 1933 to 1938 if we see the nazis terrorized them that is the jews and the gypsies and all that so they were so scared they inflicted all kinds of cruelty on them segregated them separated them from the rest of the people and made them absolute paupers and they uh, literally compelled them to leave the country so this was the phase from 1933 to 1938 the next phase that is from 1939 to 1945 they aimed to kill them in gas chambers in poland so uh, uh, that is how they were intending to eliminate them altogether genocide and war became the two sides of same coin that is a uh, genocide that is killing of deliberate killing of a large number of people for a partic- from a particular ethnic group or nation so this is what they were subjected to so obviously uh, this is how uh, the jews were punished and persecuted then we see that they occupied poland was Uh, they had occupied poland and they divided this most of the northwestern poland was made part of germany their people were forced to leave their homes they were forced to leave their properties and germans came to occupy all their houses and their properties in fact they uh, were so cruel that the children who belonged to poland that, that is the polish children were examined by race experts and if they passed the race test they were raised in german families and if not then they were sent to orphanages so that kind of ill treatment that they gave out to the people in poland that they did not even spare the children over there then we see that uh, the youth was uh, the next target the youth in nazi germany Hitler had believed that a strong Nazi society could be established by teaching children right from the beginning that is from a very young age only if they could be taught the Nazi ideas they would grow up with that only so that is how they went about doing it the Nazi or the Nazi ideology that is undesirable children and teachers were dismissed that initially the children uh, were separated uh, from the german children and then later on they were dis- um, mis- dismissed also they were or they were turned out so that they went to that extent also then uh, the racial science was introduced for them to study at a young age so that these ideas they would grow up with such ideas only uh, then further the uh, the textbooks were rewritten so whatever they wanted to teach the children so the textbooks were also changed and modified and children were taught to be loyal to be submissive that is to uh, listen to whatever that they were told and obey the instructions also and the worst thing was that they were taught to hate the jews and idolize hitler or worship hitler so there was a spirit of violence and aggression among the people 
among the people, particularly the children, right from the beginning, so that they would become strong and they would be hard-hearted and there would be uh, no such difficulty for them when they grew up. Thank you.